Hello, this is KK Trader. Today now time is uh, afternoon, December 12th, 2020. I want to recap Friday. Uh, now market is a little bit uh, uncertain. You see the sell off. And uh, as known, that uh, happened during the beginning of the year when first COVID-19 started, uh, we had some rumors from YouTube, from uh, whatever media saying that December, the Indian has a, has a kid, is uh, predicted that in December, the virus, will be more serious and uh, the economy will be uh, in affected again and the stock market will be uh, crash again even harder whatever it is true or not we watch the market and uh, from the sell off uh, last week i have already get uh, off you know, sold most of the, the ones that are profiting that I don't make a loss. And so far I feel I have a few positions, but with only for observing, you know, watching, tracing the stock prices. So I don't have a heavy, you know, predictions on most of the ones that I, that I want to hold a long term. But um, I did a trade, I got a trapped. Yeah, I want to say that I made a big mistake that uh, I traced undertaker. I don't want to tell you now until I get out of the position, make a profit or I cut a loss. Yeah, I made a mistake tracing a stock. I so believe that that will push higher, but didn't. And I didn't do the homework that that stock is a Chinese stock. But anyway, don't, don't, how to say, please don't trace, don't trace. Also pre-market or aftermarket, that's, very dangerous because when you push the order, even large order, the market maker will take it and dump on you. Pump or dump, they are going to trap you. But anyway, that's a little bit about my lessons. I learned the lessons again. Do never trace the stock. Please be disciplined. Okay, let's talk about the short I did Friday, yesterday. This one I shorted at the price 11.50. Look at this one first, 11.50. When the first dump, I had first warning, so the first thing, 11.50, that's my first shot, 11.50. Around here, you know, gave it a shot, I did get in, 11.50 right here. I have the time here, 9.48, 9.49, got executed, failed, right? 48.48. 48, 49, one second, 948, right here, I shorted the first one, and then I shorted again on this ticker um, at 1161, time is 10, 13, 15. 10, 13, 15, 10, 13, 15, 13, right around here, 
13, right around here. This is a five minutes chart. If I do one minute, okay. 10, 15, no, wait, 10, 15. Wait a second, it's so hard to see. 10, 15, 10, 13, right here. I short it again, 16, 11, 61, 11, 61 around here. I short again, cause this is the resistance. This is the resistance, I short it at the resistance right here. Wait, wait, here, 11, 16. You know, I see the first right, the first right, and I short it there. See, 11, 16, 61, 11, 61, yeah. This is 14. Uh huh. And I short it again here. 1302. At the time, 1054. 1054. That's another resistance right here. I short it there. 1302. And when I see the job, I short it. But this is not it, not all. The market makers still push, push twice, double top. At that time, I was going to go to my appointment. But one push up, I tried to short here, but I don't know whether it will go higher or not, I don't know. And I didn't cut, I don't cut because this is going down for sure. Is at the end of the year also the uh, politics that uh, I don't think will go up. I didn't cut, but back then I think I have 20% minus red, you know, and going down. That's a little bit nervous. I should add, but I didn't. I didn't add, I still have money to add. But I didn't, I don't want to add on losers. Remember, don't add on losers. But this one, if you so believe it, I had one short, two short already. And uh, I short it again on this, 13.02. That is it for this taker. And go up here. I didn't short again, but the double top. Then I left for my appointment. I don't have time to deal with it. I just leave, leave it open. I knew it will drop at the end of the day. There it is. I covered, I covered at 826. You see that? I covered. I, I covered at that price, okay? Wait. I covered it here, 8.26. Yep. Let's talk about VTVT. I short it and I covered. I made a little money there, but, okay, hold on. Let me show you the chart. I saw this ticker so many times for a year or two. I saw this taker. Look at this one. If we knew, we should have short it from there. If after this support go lower than that support, we should do the short. But it's grinding, grinding here, consolidation, and then go lower. Then that's the point we should do short. So this support became resistance. We should short it here. But who knows this will go up or not. But when open, I saw that, didn't push and push and then go lower. Then I shorted at 435 at 10.03, right over here. That's the top I consider. So I shorted here at the first dump, 
four thirty five. You know, because over here that is up trending, right? Is up trending right here, and that short right here because this one is lower than the high. So four thirty five I short it here at the time ten o three. 10.03, right here, I, I showed it here, 10.03. Then I covered at 4.23, 4.23, right here, because the green candle is going up. I covered at 10.12, 10.12, right here, it's going up. I don't know will go up higher or not, and I covered 10, 12, right here. This red can, this green candle right here. This green candle right here, 10, 12, I covered. And keep dropping, go up, and I short it again at 10, 13. 10, 13. Yeah, I see the 10, 13 right here is a red candle. Didn't go over, and I short it again. 1030, 1013, right here. I short it and I cover 420, 13, 1013, right here. I short it again, and I short it again. 370. 370. Uh-huh. Short it and short it again. 370. At the time, 1041. 1041. Yeah, I still follow this. I was doing something else. So I missed the high. Uh-huh. And I think, oh my God, this is Shopping still just getting while I have, I can short. Uh huh, 10.41. It's too late, you know, 10.41. Right here, it'll go up and drop again. So 71, 70, yeah. 370, I, I get in, I get back in again, yeah. Anyway, I short it again, 1048, and I covered 361 because it's a little bit going up. The price here, I covered 1044, 1044. A little bit going up, you know, a little bit going up. I said, okay, one go higher, I was short there, but didn't go up. And I short it again here, 1048, 1048. See, it's lower. Yeah, don't do that. Then from this on, I think I didn't short again. I did cover again, 355, 354. At the time, 3.1056. Yeah, I see the grinding up. I get out, I try to get a higher, higher on my position. And I short it again, 349. At the time, 1057, 1057 right here. I get in again. And then go up, short, 349, 349. At the time, 10.57, 10.57, right? 10.57, right here. I showed it again. And uh, let me see here. Yeah, anyway, I did in and out, I lost the good position sometimes they don't go grinding all the way. Sometimes like this push up, like this push up. But this one, remember this ticker, make a note 
a retaker's behavior when next time you know what is going on. So you will do your own strategy. Then I just hold it all the way. Even though I should make more money than the other taker, this one I made uh, 34%, the other one is 45%, 43%. Painting with even very small size that I didn't stay here for. And I close at a 301, but I saw $3. I keep changing my order, keep lower from a 304. Yeah, because I see the direction is going lower, but I could make the execution at a $3. I didn't change because that is at the end. See, seven, is that 1951 almost closed the uh, session of the extended after hour. But anyway, I made a little money and not, uh, and this one, I have the long position I don't want to hold anymore because I this is down trending. I should get out from here so I can make a little money. I have my position 658 that I had a limited order the other day and just touched my uh, my limited order and uh, and uh, at this time I don't know will push up more or not. I didn't do anything then drop and drop again didn't go up again. So I close it after hour. Yeah, at that time six. 72 I get out and uh, keep watching this because this one gave you a dividend a look give you a dividend hold on just a second dividend dividend rate yield very good yield look at this 29 percent so this is the very bottom and I took the order over here, 6.58, I got my order. And I was hoping to push up more, didn't. I think I got it this day. Uh, I set the limit let me know because this is support. Wait, this is a little bit support right there, here. Yeah, I set the line, yeah, support this line. I got in there and uh, I keep watching for three or four days. And then until this big red candle, I get up. And the weather will go low or not, or I will trace again. I want to hold this long because this yield is very nice and the price is low. You know, $6 for 29 percent dividend, you know, the dividend each month or each quarter gave you 50 cents. So that's very, that's very good, you know. Anyway, this is all I want to recap what's going on with my uh, trades last Friday. I hope you guys like it and uh, click the like button subscribe uh, and I will introduce or more takers that I will find and uh, I have some takers that uh, I recommend and I did a search for a while to hold it and to see whether I can double my money. Anyway, I always have something coming up if you miss it please just subscribe when I have the new video coming up, you won't, you won't miss anything. Then that means you won't miss making money opportunity. Thank you for watching, subscribe and click like button and enjoy your holiday, enjoy your weekend. Thank you, bye-bye.